Today I'm going to show you how to take something that is sitting kitty wampus in Tinkercad and place it flat. So let's get cracking. If you've never used Tinkercad before, you can get there by just visiting tinkercad.com. There is no install and you can simply choose sign in with Google and you're ready to roll. When you create a project, it is stored online. Whenever you click on them, you can choose to tinker to get back to what you were working on. Today, we're going to start a brand new project, and I'm going to just hit Create 3D Design. In Tinkercad, we build with shapes by simply dragging them out. The next shape that you grab can cruise on top of the first shape. You can continue to build like this, making whatever you want. But notice this one is what would be called a kitty wampus ankle. It's just sitting on top. It is touching. If we look at it in flat view from the front, you can see that they are connected. But if you wanted to go back to perspective view, look from the home and set this flat on the work plane to build it with a typical cylinder, it would be difficult. You can hit duplicate to make a new one. You can also use the shortcut control D. If we hit the letter D to drop, you can see it is on the work plane, but it is really twisted funny. I'm going to click on this again, and I'm going to show you the brand new drop button. Now you can do that from right here. I'm going to do control Z though, because I want that to still be up in the air. Now they gave us another button called the shape work plane. Check this out. I call this the living work plane. Now when I drag this, it stretches along the correct axis for that shape. If I click back and now I stretch it, notice it goes on the Z axis of the work plane. I'm going to do control Z to undo that. And then I want to show you the trick for how to drop this critter flat. I'm going to select it. I'm going to simply hit the shape work plane, which once again is the shortcut E and I'm going to do control C to copy. I could have also clicked the copy button. I'm going to click back on the traditional work plane. And are you ready for this? When we paste, bam, it is now flat and ready to work with just like you would expect. Because of that shape work plane, we can now copy an object while the shape work plane is on and set it flat. Let's do it again. Once again, E for shape work plane. Control C to copy, click back on the place where it's supposed to land, Control V to paste it. You can take items that are set at kitty wampus angles and set them flat in an instant. How cool is that? I do also want to show you one more bonus. Check this out. Once again, E to get the work plane, Control C to copy. Now, of course, we were putting it on this work plane, but check it out if we hit W and pick a work plane, like say I want it right there. Now we can do Control V to paste and bingo, it is in the right spot. I will warn you that quite often you have to hit D to drop to get it to be at the right height. If you want to use the align tool here, once again, you got to hit E to show shape work plane. Now we can grab those two items, choose L for align, and we can easily click middle and middle to match them up. I had actually locked this in with the work plane. Let's hit work plane and put it back down. And let's also name our project. I'm going to call this shape work plane and click out here to finalize the naming. Real quickly, I want to give a huge shout out to Carolina Woodturner for the awesome comment that nudged me down this path. Friends, that's how easy it is to drop something flat now in Tinkercad. Of course, if it was your first time using Tinkercad, I've got a ton of tutorials. Check the cards. I will have some of my favorites up there. Of course, if you got something special you're looking for, make sure you add a comment down below. Friends, I do want to say thank you to everybody that's chosen a channel membership. That support is always appreciated. And of of course, there's several levels that you can choose from. I do also want to say thanks to everybody that's part of my Patreon. Love how that group is growing. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I want to say thanks to you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.